Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy is back after about a week hiatus. We were uploading every single other day, considering I was on vacation. I went to Disney World with the family, had a good time, but something I forgot to do before I left was tell you guys that I was leaving. So if you guys were wondering where I was at, that is where I'm, I was at. But we are back to daily uploads. Probably gonna be uploading sometimes twice a day this upcoming week and probably weeks to come considering I want to bang out some uh, Legend of Zelda content alongside with keep the Pokemon content flowing. So we're back again, like I said, but we got a banger today. We're back playing some Sword and Shield. Well, not Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet with an Electros off meta team. Well, Electros is really the only off meta Pokemon. This team also features Fluttermane and then it has Shen Pao and Dragonite combo. This one should be fun. Hopefully we get the rock out with it on the rank ladder and grab some wins for you guys. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Fluttermane is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview, Fluttermane has probably been the best Pokemon all around in all of the series for Pokemon so far. It has just been so dominant. It is so amazing. It has Protosynthesis, the Life Orb as item, Rock and Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Protect. We got Iron Treads on this team, who is a Paradox Pokemon that I didn't use too much. I used it a couple times, but ever since Series 3 came out, I don't think I used it once. It's got Quirk Drive, the Booster Energy as its item, Rock and Iron Head, Earthquake for two stab moves, Rock Slide for coverage, and last but not least, it has Protect. We got Shen Pao in that third slot, Shen Pao, you really can't go wrong with him, especially with this build right here. Swords of Ruin, Focus Ash as item, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Again, cannot go wrong with that Pokemon. To pair up with Shen Pao, we got the one and only Dragonite. Everybody knows Dragonite is top tier when paired up with the Shen Pao. It has Multi-Skill, the Clear Amulet as item, Rocking Dragon Claw, Terra Blast, E-Speed, and Protect. Fifth slot is going to be the reason why I picked this team. It is going to be Electros, and Electros is such a cool Pokemon. Straight electric type with levitate as its ability, so it cannot be hit by ground moves. It has the Assault Vest as item, Rock and Thunderbolt, and Discharge for two stab hitting moves, Flamethrower, and Giga Drain for two coverage moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy Gargonackle. Gargonackle is very good being a late game Pokemon considering it can get into the matches and kind of stall out Pokemon. That is Purifying Salt, the Leftovers as item, Salt Cure, Body Press, Iron Defense, and Recover. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Electros Series 3 team. First match on its way, and I'm feeling good today. Just landed from the plane. Been home for about an hour and I hopped on recording to bring you guys some content. So, again, I'm feeling good. Haven't played in a little bit, so we might make a little bit of mistakes, but I'm looking to grab ourselves at least a winning record today. We're going up against a Chiyu and Flutter main team with the Corv Knight, who Corv Knight has been amazing on the rank ladder in Series 3. They also have Gyarados, Amoongus, and Ting Lu. So special attackers gotta watch out here. But good thing we have a lot of physical attackers with this team. But who should I lead and how should I play it? I could go Shen Pao for lead. I really do like Shen Pao. And I also might lead it with Electros. I love Electros. I really do. But I don't know if I'm gonna lead Electros. I think Shen Pao and Dragonite could be a very good lead for us. Or maybe even just like Iron Treads. I mean, Iron Treads isn't bad. He really isn't bad. I can kind of get down with Iron Treads. I'm gonna go Iron Treads and Shen Pao. I feel like throw something a little off meta there could be awesome and then have Dragonite in the back end and then last but not least I'm gonna roll out with Electros. I just really like this Pokemon especially with the Assault Vest they have a few special attackers I feel like Electros could be really really good. Only Pokemon it's really not good against is going to be that Ting Lu but we'll, we'll figure we'll figure out ways around it. We will figure out ways around this one but I wonder who they're gonna lead. I really want to get Electros out there. Electros is decently bulky on that special defense side with this vest and on top of that, it's rather slow, but it can hit pretty hard on the special attack inside. So, Electros, really cool Pokemon all around. But he's going to end up going Ting Lu and Amoongus, which, uh, I don't really mind. I don't really mind. Um, I could throw some EQs. I could go into some Iron Heads. Um, hmm. He's going to drop a special attack. Amoongus, kind of annoying here, right? Could put some Pokemon to sleep. So, I kind of want to figure out maybe ways around. I could double down on Ting Lu. So, I'm really leaning towards maybe just Iron Heading. Yeah, and then going into like an Ice Spinner. I mean, if he goes for Rage Powder, that's fine. If not, this Ting Lu's going to take some decent amount of damage. So, I'm cool with this. Plus, I don't think Ting Lu is going to... Okay, Ting Lu's going to swap. I was going to say, plus I don't think Ting Lu's going to protect. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to go into Gyarados. Gyarados Gyarados for a solid Intimidate. Are you Rage Powdering now? That's the real question. I kind of want you to, because that Intimidate just did me dirty. Let's see. No, no Rage Powder. So, he's looking to put somebody to sleep. We hit you with Iron Head and Ice Spinner, so two moves that aren't really going to do too much damage to this Gyarados. Yep, it'll soak really well. And now I'm asleep. Night, Night, Shen Pao. So solid first turn from our opponent. It really was a good first turn from our opponent. 
And now from here, what do I do? Do I swap Iron Treads? Maybe, I'm thinking about it. Could get Electros out here. Do I go Electros here? I'm kind of leaning towards it. Yeah, we'll swap in Electros and I kind of want to... Do I want to swap out you? I kind of want to swap out you too. Actually, we'll, we'll let a turn of sleep go by. I think we should be fine. So I'm just going to go for the Ice Spinner. And we'll just go from there. We'll waste a turn of sleep. So I'm going to swap the Iron Treads out here. I'm going to bring out my Electros, who can be really good up against the characters. Probably force him to either Terrasilize or swap. And I think he's going to swap into Tinglu after this. But Electros looks so much smaller than it did on the DS games, which is hilarious. He ends up going for a Thunder Wave. It will not affect... It wouldn't have affected my... Uh, uh, what's it called? I don't think it would have affected my Iron Treads either, because we are ground type. So he ends up going for the Palm Puff. And from here, again, I can see... An easy like a very easy what's it called terra but i think i just go for this i think i just go for discharge and i hard swap the uh i just hard swap the shen pal here getting rid of that that intimidate plus this discharge can freely go through and hit pokemon but he's probably gonna put me to sleep which kind of sucks man <laughs> i don't want to go to sleep i really don't want to go to sleep but i think garris is going to swap into ting lu or Terrasilize, and it is going to Terrasilize. So this is a solid match so far. I wonder what Terra type is going to. Probably Grass. I've been seeing a lot of Grass recently, but ooh, Steel. A little bit of Steel action. A little bit of Steel. So I can hit it with EQ now if I wanted to. I'm just hoping he's not putting Iron Treads to sleep, but of course he goes for Waterfall in that slot. I'm able to soak. But it's not too bad, and this charge is now going to fly. Can we get a Paralyze on some Pokemon? It'd be really good for us. Give me some Paras. There's one. Give me. I want the power on the Gyarados. I think I need it more on the Gyarados than anything. We don't get on Gyarados, but Amoongus loses a turn, which is pretty solid for us. So from here, I think I'm just going to drop a nice little flamethrower, and I think I'm just going to throw an EQ his way. How fast are you, Iron Treads? That's the real question. Are you faster than that Gyarados? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. This EQ could be huge. So now we're going to EQ. We're going to look to get rid of that Intimidate. And he doesn't swap, which is big time. I think this can take out the, the Gyarados, right? Please take out the Gyarados. Let's go. We get rid of the Gyarados. We have our coverage move flamethrower coming across the board onto the Moogus. And that's solid swaps from us. That really is. I just need my Shen Pao to wake up as soon as possible. Right? That's our only that's our only downfall right now. So Flamethrower comes through here. Does not pick up the KO, which kind of sucks. And this thing's able to bury up. So he buries up. We know another Flamethrower KOs. And we know he has no Terra anymore, which is pretty solid for us. But he ends up going for a Spore, and he's going to Spore you, which kind of... Mm, mm, don't like that. Do not like that. I really don't like that. So he ends up Spore my Electros. Um, Iron Treads is pretty solid. I like its speed up against these Pokemon. Except for that one, right? Except for Fluttermane. So Fluttermane now comes out here. That's a little tough for us. But I guess I'll go for a Discharge here. I'm not going to wake up. And I could Protect. Or I could just go for an Iron Head. If I could get off an Iron Head, that would be... Immaculate. That would be immaculate. I would love to go for it though. I need my Shen Pao to wake up as soon as possible. I really do need it to. And I think our opponent just quit. I'm kind of hoping he did. I'll let you know if he quit or if we disconnect it. So that last match, our opponent actually either disconnected or quit. I got the W. My rank did go up, which is awesome. But I don't think our opponent quit. It could have, but that match would have been really really close and i wish our opponent would have played it out fully but yeah we take those wins all day we're sitting at one and oh we're swapping out our electros and our iron treads at perfect time we picked up a big time ko on gyarados and our only problem was going to be that flutter mean that flutter mean if it did outspeed me and my shen pal didn't wake up quick enough we could have been in a lot of trouble but i did feel like we were sitting in a pretty powerful spot with electros and iron treads on the field with shen pal and dragonate in the back end so i'll take that win all day we're one and oh hopping into our second match going up against another dragonite and shen pal team so we're going to have to bring it ourselves. They also have Fluttermane and Chiyu, Murkrow for speed, and then last but not least, they are rocking out with Golden Go. Murkrow, a little bit of a problem. I kind of want to bring in a Pokemon more so like Gargonackle. I feel like he could be very good, especially as a back-end Pokemon. So do I want to lead him? Probably not, but I definitely want to bring him in here. So I'm going to go Shen Pao Dragon. I just think that's a really good lead for me. I could also go Shen Pao and maybe like Iron Chest again, but I really like Shen Pao Dragon in here with Gargle Knuckle in the back end. And then last but not least, I feel like Fluttermane's an absolute must, right? I feel like Fluttermane's an absolute must. Do I bring Fluttermane or do I bring a Pokemon like you? I'm gonna bring Fluttermane. I just feel like you can't go wrong with Fluttermane, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think they lead Murkrow and I think they take a lot of speed control, so that's why I really want to get Dragonite and Shen Pao out here because first turn priority is gonna be our best friend. 
But we'll see who they want to lead because that first match was so good. I wish we would have finished that for you guys. Win or lose, I feel like that would have been a great, uh, great battle to get on recording. But still. But still. We back at it. 1-0. We take those dubs all day. And they're going to end up leading Murkrow and Goldigo. So, a little scary here, right? Just a tad bit scary. Um, I do have multi-scale. I could protect my Shen Pao turn one, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Or I could just straight up Sucker Punch. Which I think I might do. Sucker Punch into maybe a Terra here. I could Terra Dragon Call. I could Terra Blast. Hmm. Thing is, I think he Terrasalized in a straight steal. A little bit of a problem. Um, I'm just going to protect this turn and not waste my Terra out just yet. We're going to hope Golden Goat does not Terrasalize. And we can just Sucker Punch and drop it. Because I think uh, Tailwind and... Oh, cool. Sucker Punch is going to go through. And we're just going to take it out. Cool. Because what I did think was going to happen was going to be Tailwind and then a Make It Rain was going to pop. But my only problem would have been if he Terrasalized there. So, I'll take that all day. We get off a solid turn there. We Sucker Punch. We get rid of Golden Go. But now they have speed. Now they have speed, but we got E Speed and Sucker Punch. Again, they're going to be our best friends. So Fluttermane now comes out here. I believe it is going to Terrasalize. I, I'm almost positive it's going to Terrasalize. So I do want to go into an E Speed in that slot, but I, I'm kind of scared to do it. I definitely want to Sucker Punch in that slot. I do want to Sucker Punch in that slot. I'm going to Sucker Punch it. I'm going to Terrasalize and just throw a Terra Blast that way. I know it's going to Terrasalize, but I'm kind of scared to go for it. I'm kind of scared because I would love to E-Speed it, but I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. So we Terrasalize our Dragonite, and it looks like they're not Terrasalizing, so that's fine with me. That's fine with me. Hopefully they're not protecting that thing. Because right now I'm just I'm just going for that left slot all day. Yep, Sucker Punch coming in here. Big time damage. Fluttermane's probably going for a Gleam. Which it does. Shen Pao's gonna sash up. My Dragonite's able to soak. And from here we take out Fluttermane, which is big time for us. Getting rid of this Fluttermane is huge. Foul play's gonna fly here. Wow, that did that did a bit too much damage, right? That did a little bit too much damage. But Terrasalizing really did help us uh, survive that turn, which was big time. So Terror came in clutch. So now we got rid of Fluttermane. We got rid of Golden Go. They got Murkrow, who I'm not worried about on the damage side. And yeah, pretty much game set match, right? Pretty close to it. Let's see who they end up throwing out here. It's going to be Chiyu. Okay, so Chiyu comes out here. Chiyu's a little scary. A little scary. I mean, I could double protect here. Because how many turns left in Tailwind? Wasting out Tailwind's going to be gonna be good for us. So, I'm just going to double protect here. I'm just going to double protect. And then I'll E-Speed and Sucker Punch the next turn. And we'll get after it. So double protect, wasting out Tailwind. And who do I have in the back end? I have Fluttermane, who's going to be good for us. He's going to pop a sunny day. And then who was my last Pokemon I brought? Gargonackle, who's big time here. I love Gargi. I knew Gargonackle would be huge in the back end. A little bit of Salt Cure action. Soaks up the Fire Shots. Get the Purifying Salts, all that good stuff. So now from here, we can go into Sucker Punch. I mean, we're kind of forced to go into Sucker Punch because they outspeed me. And the real problem is, do we think Murkrow's going for an attacking move? Yeah, probably, right? So I'm just going to Sucker Punch. I'm going to double down into Murkrow slot. Actually, why wouldn't I double down into Chiyu slot? Let's double down to Chiyu. Sucker Punch coming at him. And E-Speed at the same time. Yeah, we got to double down into him. Cool. So E-Speed doing a decent amount of damage. Sucker Punch probably not going to KO, but still help us out a little bit. And it does KO. It's game, set, match. Game, set, match. Come on, man. That's too easy. That is too easy. What a quick second match. We are just flying through the battles today. Quick matches so far. Murkrow ends up taking out my Dragonite. We were win this one regardless. Regardless. My Gargonackle was in a perfect position to, to clean up the match, right? Their talent's gone and everything works out perfect. We still had Fluttermane, the strongest Pokemon in the game at the moment. And this is just too easy, man. Come on. Come on. Too easy for jeans. But now we can just go into an Ice Spinner. Obviously, a nice little Salt Cure. I think our poet just cancels battle. I'm sitting 2 0. Guaranteed you guys a winning record? We got a winning record. So far, your boy's red hot. Jeans is red hot. Back from vacation. I'm feeling good. But we're 2 0. Hopping into our third and final match. Might as well go for that perfect record. Looking to go 3 0. Going up against uh, a lot of Paradox Pokemon. Fluttermane, Great Tusk, and Iron Bundle. Alongside with three very strong Pokemon. They got Weather Control with the Bomb of Snow and the Bomb of Snow compared with the Delibird. And then they also have. 
King Gambit and Dragon Knight. Two very strong Pokemon. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I could go Shen Pao and Iron Treads here. Which I kind of can get down for, right? I mean, EQ can do a ridiculous amount of damage with it on the field. We could also Terrasilize and start ripping into it. But the only problem would be if they go into the Weather Squad. Weather Squad? Ooh. The Weather Squad's a problem. The Weather Squad's a big time problem. But at, at that point, we could Sucker Punch and kind of get after it. So I'm going to go Iron Treads. I am going to go Chen Pao and then bring Dragonite and Electros in the back end. I really do like that. I really do like that. Um, hmm. Trying to think of Pokemon that can give us problems. Gambit could. Gambit could give us a little bit of a problem. Not my front end Pokemon, but my back too. My Electros and my Dragonite. My front end Pokemon can uh, clean up pretty nicely. We got the ground moves and we got the fighting move on Chen Pao. Again, we should be able to clean that up very nicely, but mm, I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like if they lead Weather, Snow, Obama Snow, and Deli Bird, that could be a little tough for us, but they do not. Okay, cool. So Tusk and Dragonite do come out here. Um, ooh, I feel like I could just drop an Ice Boop into that thing. Um, you could, mm, could definitely just E speed me, which E speed's kind of scary. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. what's Jeans one doing here? I do have Ghost Tower, which is really solid. Especially if you want to go for E speed up against me, it could be solid. But who, do, who would I rather go after? Probably Tusky, right? Would I rather just take off Multi Scale? I mean, I can always take off Multi Scale with like, a Sucker Punch. But you know, what? I'm gonna go Tusk here, and I'm just gonna drop a Rock Slide across the board. Take off multi scale, and if Tusk is Sash, we can get rid of that and uh, KO it. Okay, so I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We Terrasilize our Shen Pao going straight into Ghost. I'm not dealing with the E speeds. I'm, I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> e speed such pain, even though I have it in the back end. But we'll see. We Terror turn one. Let's see what they want to do here. Are they also going to Terrasilize? They do not. We make a hard read, and it pays off. It pays off big time. Rock Slide's going to come out here, and who do we miss? Dragonite? Come on now. I really want to hit the Dragonite. Really want to hit the Dragonite. I really want to take off the multi scale. But EQ's gonna come through and that thing's oh my lord, that thing is He's choice scarfed. That tusk is choice. Kinda hurts the soul. But Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. We don't KO the Tusk, but I could sucker punch and finish that off. Or I could E speed. Whichever one I would rather do. Um yeah, we're gonna save Electros for the back end, but that kinda hurts right there. Kinda hurts we didn't take off the multi scale and on top of that the choice scarf really doing me dirty. Okay. So from here, it's simple. We're just gonna take off multi scale. Actually, I'm just gonna hit this thing as hard as I can with with uh, ice spinner. And I'm just gonna E speed for the KO. At least look for it. He probably protects a great tusk too. Maybe I should double down on Dragonite, but it's all good. It is all good, because I think we're just going to go E speed, E speed. But I'm kind of hoping he just leaves the Great Tusk alone, and we can finish it off. But again, I think he protects it or swaps it, right? No, he does not. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So he takes off my multi-scale. I get rid of his Tusk. Now, if multi-scale was gone, if his multi-scale was gone, this Ice Spinner would KO. It kind of hurts the soul that he does have this ready to go. Well, Ice Spinner flies here. It still KOs. It's big time. Was that a crit? was not cool so four times super effective comes in clutch i'll take that so now we have a very powerful combo out on the field we still have electros in the back end which i really really like so we'll see his final two pokemon it is going to be the iron b me no likey me no likey this <laughs> and gambit okay so electros does have the fire move they st still have terra um ah what do i want to do here i had the grass move as well but you have Vest. I do have Giga Drain. Oh, two. Man. What do I want to do here? I kind of just want to Sacred Sword this slot down. So if I can connect that, that KO Gambit. If I right, E-Speed you, I bring you down to about half health. Maybe I should just double down on that. Sucker Punch going to fly and KO me. All right. So it's going to come down to a 2v1. It really hurts. I should have doubled down into the, into the bundle with Sucker Punch. That should be my play all day. Because if I Sucker Punch into the bundle it probably either would have died or came close to dying and then on top of that king gambit would have missed his attack mm, hurts the soul okay so from here i don't think we stand a chance here i really don't um this flamethrower is not gonna ko gambit we need hp back i mean i could go for a discharge and hope to get some powers that's probably my best bet i'm gonna do that that's probably my best bet. We're gonna hope Discharge can KO, and then on top of that, we can get a para. 
but I don't think we stand a chance here because now he just harassed his bundle into the most perfect typing for electric Pokemon. Probably ground. That would be crazy, but let's see what he goes into. Straight fire gambit, which oh, that's perfect. Really, really, really screws me over with the uh, with the fire move going into him. But Iron Bundle is going to go for the free shot. We are vested. We're able to soak decently well. And this charge is able to fly here. So, do we care the bundle? We do. Can we get the paralyze? Give me the paralyze. Just give me the paralyze. It'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. We don't get it. And now he can pretty much KO me, right? Count out cleave. Yep, that's that KO me. We survive on four, but. Sucker Punch. Gonna do me dirty. Sucker Punch gonna do me dirty, so we'll go for a discharge here. He goes for Sucker Punch. Game set match. What a third and final match. Came down to the wire. Came down to a 1v1, but we end up losing. But more importantly, grab ourselves a 2 and one winning record for today's video. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. In the beginning of today's video, I said let's get ourselves at least a winning record for today's video. And I prevailed. 2 and one Rocked out with the steam and got to use Electros and Iron Treads in match number one and in match number three. And I absolutely loved them. I thought they did pretty good and they held their own. But we had other Pokemon to help us out. The Fluttermane, Chen Pal, and Dragonite did a lot of the heavy lifting. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.